every every new artist coming up gotta gotta tap them bust down. You gonna get out quick. Was known for like you know what I'm saying, mobbing going to parties fucking up shit. Cause like the most city niggas that they had, bro, these niggas was like sheltered suburb gangsters. Like, you know what I'm saying? They had the rise. They was rich. They had velocity programs. They going to the NFL, good colleges, <laughs> all this shit. They got the baddest bitches. I'm like, God damn. And the dopest part, you know what I'm saying? So I was known for going to shutting down, shutting, like, shutting down they shit. You Look, know what I'm saying? Always a dark-skinned bully nigga to come try to take off. Whatever you do. That shit, Cap. Speak on that. Speak on what? Bro, it's it's one thing like this internet shit and then it's real life shit. In real life, bro, people really know the truth about shit. But on the internet, you can really say something and people are gonna really believe that shit. Like, bro, if like I have the chance right now to say like, go in, or I could like tell the truth. And the truth hurt. Nigga don't like that truth, but that was not the truth. And that nigga older than me, so what he will really happen back in the day, like. He probably was telling the truth a little bit or shit probably, I know shit was going down for sure because niggas didn't die, like I know. My big homies and shit, like was the clique that he beef with type shit, I came up under them, like a few years under. So when we was out there wilding and shit, like shit was different. Them niggas was out of high school and grown and shit down there. And we was still like, we was out there young wilding. But uh, I wouldn't get on the internet and say that I was just running through people shit. Even if I really was, I'ma just be like shit, I don't fuck with that side, I don't fuck with them, but it, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. fuck with the West. That's not my side. From the mode. And that's how we came up. Like when you coming up, like yeah, we they side know that too. We don't they don't fuck with the mode. And it's like divided. <laughs> that's that's like an instance on why the city divided too, like shit like that. Yeah. That's the real life. And then the north, like, if you from the north, you don't really come to the south. You from the south, you don't go to the north. Like, you got everything here. But it's different now, everybody fucking with you. It's different. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say too much more on that, but that shit would count. Some real niggas in the mode. Most niggas stuck on Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to sing to these bitches in a play away, because I can I can be like, hey, came with a chopper, nigga, I seen you to the doctor. I can rap it, I can be like, play with JB, I'ma see you to a doctor. I don't trust a soul, but I trust my chopper. I can rap it or sing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I feel like when I sing it, Bro, I bro, I got videos in my phone doing a show like an hour away, and I'm performing singing songs damn near. I ain't even really singing like that, but I'm, you know what I'm saying, a good-ass tone. Bro, they know all the words. They going crazy. I hop in the crowd, I'm singing to the little girls. They going crazy. And I had just dropped a song. And, I, and the sing, they, they, a lot of people fuck with the singing shit. So mm -hmm. let's say let's say you you, you wasn't making rap R&B. What, uh, what genre would you hop to? I mean, shit, I, I started off rapping, bro. Like, I got, bro, I got, like, phones full of songs, like, songs that ain't gonna ever be released. Like, just literally, bro, when I tell y'all, I just started rapping. I really came in that hoe rapping, bro. You on the, uh, on the Houston Freestyle way? Like, you know, when Trill Sammy came out, everybody started making uh, freestyle. Nah, I wasn't rapping yet. Like, that nigga, that was like, I oh, remember that. Was that. that was like 2014, 2015. I wasn't rapping yet. Yeah. I had just, I had just dropped video, bro. Like, I, like I said, I've always been popular. i always been known, like. I always kind of always had like a, I always been like social media kind of famous, bro. Like always. So like whatever I decided to do, like people was fucking with it or they wasn't. Now it's just like I was trying to do that shit. Today it's like, okay, like that nigga make music. That nigga rap, that nigga sing, that nigga model. Like this is what that nigga do. I ain't trying to do this shit. Like I really be doing it. Like back then it was different. I was, then, I was uh like I said, I had just turned 20. So when I stay out and I'm not, I'm only a few years from 20, like, this shit, like I said, it's only finna be like my fourth year, like really going hard with my shit, chasing my shit. So, can So, where do you see yourself in the next, in like in the next five years? <sighs> oh my, I'm gonna just say, I just feel sorry for whoever sleep on me and doubting me, and, and it is doubting me or praying against me, like, cause the ones that was doing that shit and got cut off in the past, like, they, they, I don't know, <laughs> they all the way in the back and we eating up here, like, and it's only gonna get better and crazy. I work hard, bro. Like, I don't even sleep. I work hard. And that's another thing. I got work ethic that niggas don't have, bro. Like, I don't even sleep or eat. Like, I really, in real life. Mm -hmm. And then I put it on the social media for it to, you know what I'm saying? Like, to spread. But in five years, boy, only God knows, boy. The sky the limit with this shit, boy. I swear to God.
It's a lot of money out here, bro. You 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 plan on like expanding to like other um uh, for sure, like bro. I started doing this shit to get only money, like mm -hmm. to do other things that I really want to do. So what do you plan on like? Um, I mean, I, I open. I already started a clothing line. I got my own clothing line. TV show. Yeah, yeah, acting TV show. Like I don't see me on TV show. I mean, I'm signed to an agency like modeling and shit. Like I get. You know, so I can do like acting and all that shit too, but yeah, I'm about to say because modeling and acting like I'm saying that him for sure. Yeah. But man, this shit just getting it's just getting crazy. Every time somebody asks me like, "What you been on? How your shit been?" I just I just always say, I just be like, "Bro, I'm blessed." And this shit just getting crazy. It's just getting crazy. Like you never know who watching you. You never know what song gonna be the hit. You never know like what what people you gonna go shoot with or what brand. You know, bro, with that shit in the malls and shit, I wouldn't even supposed to be like the person to do that shit. It was God, bro. Like, nigga really just got chosen to represent they shit everywhere, bro. Like, people in Houston was going up to that hoe, touching it and crying. On my life, they was tagging me. Like, gay, like, nigga, like, what you did for the city, what you did for the mom? I'm like, shit, I gave it hope. Mm -hmm. If I ain't did nothing, like, I gave it some hope that anybody can do this shit. Because I'm just like y'all, bro. I'm just, we all the same, bro. Came up hard, bro. And just work hard. And just blessed, bro. For real. Like music, do you ever plan on signing to another label? Signing to a label, man. Or you gonna keep it independent because you don't got so big with big with everything up. To be honest, like right in my head, it's just I'm only doing independent. I've had people who want to sign me or do different shit, but I swear to God, it turned out a 3.5 million deal. I want y'all to see this shit. I kept a five, a 3.5 million deal. First of all, uh. That hoe was on some live shit. It had some acting shit in there, but uh, it had some weird shit in that shit. And I'm like, I don't fuck with that weird shit. You know what I'm saying? So I denied it. I denied a lot of good deals, bro, but 3.5 million, won't sell my soul, especially for no lame shit. No matter how much money it is, nigga, we get money out here. Look, I can't really show too much, but I'm gonna just show the price. Uh, I turned out 3.5 million music deal, acting deal damn near. First, first, uh, which called advance would be two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand. And if you think I'm cap, you know, so I can go through the whole contract and my name right there it says agreement with Mo City J B. You know what I'm saying? That's just one. A lot of people do be trying to sign, but I'm I'm trying to stay independent. I wanna cause I bought a deal I was in, them niggas some hoes. Fuck them niggas if they see this shit. They know what it is with me. Them uh like yeah, I got two sound label Nah, they in, in the age, bro. People know what it is. Yeah. But like uh I got two different Apple accounts. I got two different YouTubes, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had shit on the label page and now I got all my own shit, like, so I ain't getting paid for my Kinder Man, so I ain't getting paid for a few of my yeah. biggest songs they that I dropped. They trying to like charge you to get, like, get all the Bro, them niggas just some hoes, like, I got out my contract, like, on some, like, just blessed to get out. I got myself out. Nah, to I told them it's cool. I said, fuck it. Cool. I said, bro, leave it up there. Like, them niggas did fuck with me and, yeah, yeah. and like, pay for a lot of shit. So I'm like, leave it up. All my fans see everything. Like, I want to, when you search me, bro, it's going to all pop up still. But I, I really wish it was all on one page. But it's cool because my hardest shit I've been dropping is all on my own page. I was younger in them videos, but them some of my hardest. For sure, some of my hardest videos and songs. Yeah, I got out that hoe. And I just been independently doing everything. But I do everything, like... All my shit, I direct my videos, I I pick the locations, nigga, I style myself, and I get the models, nigga, my partners, like, I, I set up the scenes, nigga, I know how I want my shit, I see how I visualize my shit already, I set up all my photo shoots, I do all my cover arts, I know what I want on my shit, like, I just know what I want, so I do everything, sometimes it be, like, a little hard, but I built for that shit, like, I be juggling a lot, but I be... You got manager? I know you say you got agents for, like, that. Nah, when I own them, that's when all this shit, like, separate, I got an agency that I'm signed to with the modeling shit. I'm independent with my music. You know what I'm saying? I do my fitness shit. Uh, I got a clothing line. All that shit mine, like all this, do you all feel that. Like it, like as far as like music, do you feel like it's important to have managers? You it is, like, like, bro, it's important. I don't, bro, it's, it's both ways, like, cause you never know. You might, you might meet somebody and they might open the right door for you. You never know, but just my advice, bro, is if you, if you got it like that and you got it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna wanna pay you for your shit one day. And you, you better off owning your shit cause these motherfuckers gonna be eating off your talents, like for real. Like, getting money without even telling you type shit. I had it happen to me type shit. So, I mean, the bigger you get, you're gonna need a manager and an assistant and all that shit. It's too much to handle. It's, it's, it's impossible. You gotta focus on just being a star. But, shit, I learned the game. I learned the industry damn near, so I know how to, I know how to do this shit now. Speak, speak to the artists that think they should get everything free, like people that ain't spending money with everything. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. 
Like well, they gotta spend money for marketing, all the blogs and all that. Everybody just think they can get handed everything free. Speak to them. Well, like I said, if you if you popping and you like you you got it, you making you making a buzz. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got a big buzz. People fucking with you already. Like blogs and people gonna be happy to post you because people talking about you. Like it's gonna get them more shit. Like it's a it's gonna both benefit y'all. But sometimes you gotta throw that bread. Sometimes you gotta bless people because it's gonna come back to you anyway. It will come back to me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta pay that fee. Cause people gotta pay my fee, and when people hit me with their fee, I respect it, and I just drop that bread on it because I need it done. You know what I'm saying I respect other people's arts and shit too. That's why I don't know. Like it's just it's different for everybody. Like people, I didn't pay people. People didn't show love to me. I didn't show love to them. Like some, I got relationship with people. We never charge each other for nothing. Like we just made money off of each other. Relationships is key for sure. Uh, what song we can expect from you uh, like this year? Uh, well, this year from the end, so 2022. So very soon. What, what song we can expect from you? I'm finna go crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like I gotta say, the sky the limit with this shit. But 2022, I'm finna drop my second EP. I only got one full body of music out. Texas Poppy, the EP. You know what I'm saying? That hoe, that hoe did pretty good numbers. That hoe was crazy. My first body of music. I made music for like three years and I never dropped body music because the whole ass people I was signed to and I finally dropped my own shit. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying go stream that shit and then I'm gonna drop the volume two. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna drop my first album this year and this album I'm gonna drop like I'm gonna have Lil Ju produce producing that shit. June the Genius, uh, Building did that. All platinum gold producers. Uh, I've been saving some of these songs in a vault. I'm finna finally put it off in the just travel bro and just get this get this bread and just put this shit out like to see what they do people on traveling like for artists they bro. gotta get around and they think they can just build everything from like one spot in you their could, city you got to like first of all nigga it ain't gonna it don't work like that <laughs> like you bro it, i fly to new york and people want to fuck with me and pay me you know what i'm saying then my people in my city people a lot of my work i did in the city like but um <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no bro you gotta travel, like, nigga, you gotta go hit Dallas, you gotta go hit San Antonio, you gotta go hit Austin, the surrounding cities, you know what I'm saying, you gotta go hit the places where this shit is happening at LA, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, Miami, you gotta go fuck with people who fucking with you, nigga, I flew to Philly, fucking with my fans, walking the streets with them, smoking with them, taking pictures with them, I'm in New York, shit, I'm in Austin, people running up to me and shit, you gotta move around, bro, I, I gotta get the bag, the bag everywhere. <laughs> People people in a different city or state will want to pay you bands. You got to go get that. I appreciate everybody showing me love because you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate it. And just know y'all showing love to like a, a real cause. Like something that's like, like, like it's chosen to happen. Like it was like I was born for this shit to like for me to be this one day like type shit. Like that's how it is. It ain't no social media fake. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's some real shit. And you supporting and fucking with it, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It's all love for me to y'all. Um, just know this shit real, real life. Like, niggas really having this shit. Two, four, way.